What's up YouTube, we're back again with another video. Today we got a panoramic sunroof we're gonna be custom uh, installing onto this Silverado 2500 HD. We're gonna be installing this panoramic and we're gonna be custom molding the bracket onto the top of the roof, doing some body work, priming it, and repainting the roof on top make it look back uh, factory so here's the truck sick lifted truck long bed here's what the inside is going to look like it's going to fit nice in here because it's going to take up pretty much the whole the whole um, area here so it's going to look real nice it's going to be nothing but glass there so here's a little before video of how it's going to look. <clears throat> Big old truck, long bed. Like I said, YouTube, we're going to be custom molding a bracket that fits onto this um, panoramic. This panoramic came off of a Jeep Cherokee, like about 2015. <clears throat> it's nice. It's got the electric shade. It's got the got this one here that bends up, and then it slides inside underneath the glass. So it's going to look real nice. So stay tuned. I'm going to start tearing down the headliner, the pillars. I'm going to start taking everything down so I can get my bracket on top. We'll do some measurements, center everything down, trace around the top so where I can get my cutout so the bracket sits on top. And then we'll go from there. All right, guys, I got the headliner all taken down. I had to remove the passenger seat. There she is. So what I end up doing is I'm gonna have to cut this support here and trim this back some. That way I can uh, set my uh, template, my bracket, and then go from there. Let's do my measurements, make sure it's centered. And then uh, I need to trace it where I need to cut this roof. That way I can set the other one. So here's a little update. I'm gonna do some grinding and, and all that. So I'll kick you back on once I get the bracket on there so we can see right through it. All right. What's up, you two? We're back. We got the headliner cut out. As you can see right here. I got the center already cut out of the headliner. So I'm gonna end up cutting that at the end. Once I wrap it inside the truck with the uh, panoramic uh, trim, I'm gonna wrap that in there. So here's just a little update. I'm gonna grab the headliner, put it upside down on here on my stands, and then I'm gonna start uh, st uh, gluing the backside, all this. Start making it nice and nice and factory there then I'll do my cutouts here for the handles and everything it needs console your two here uh, two holes here for your um, visor so that's where we're at right now I'll show you the inside as you can see we got the panoramic in already that's the this is the trim I'm talking about this trim comes off this whole thing comes off all the way around but I'm gonna leave it on and I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the headliner onto this to give it a factory look but there she is and it's all powered up and it's all ready to go I got the drains factory drains on all four corners as you can see so if any get any moisture uh, gets in the tracks I'll come down the drain and out the vehicle that's what it looks like now. It looks badass. This one's probably like the hardest uh, 
sunroof I've, had, I've ever had to do. I've done the weld on ones, just like how I'm doing it now, but on single cabs. But as you can see here, this thing's freaking huge. So, a lot of work, a lot of work. But it's gonna be, it's gonna look real nice once it's all said and done. And it takes up pretty much the whole roof there of the Silverado. Kinda has a feel for the new forts that come factory with this kind of uh, panoramic. I think also the new Rams come with this style. So this guy wanted that kind of look. So we're gonna give him that look. So I still gotta do the body work on top. Um, everything is already sealed. I put a, a, a layer of kitty hair around the trim for reinforcement. So I'm kind of leaving that towards the end. I'm trying to get all the inside done. So that way I could put everything back, put the passenger seat back, the pillars, put everything back. I don't have to deal with that. Um, like I said, everything's already powered up. There's a power wire and it does have cab lights on top, but I can't put those on yet until I do the body work on top and then prime it. So that those are gonna be in a way, so I had to remove all that. So that's gonna be to the very end. So well, there she is. Looks good. So that's where we're at, YouTube. I'm gonna get going on the headliner. As you can see the outline of it, it's already cut out. Uh, I'm gonna get working on this, flip it upside down on my stands. Like I said, I gotta glue the edges all the way around, do my little cutouts for the handles, sun, uh, sun visors, do the cutout for the little console, um, which is good because I thought I was gonna lose the console just because the size of the panoramic but turns out we could save the we could save that so he'll have we're already losing this interior light that's sitting here factory but we'll still keep the two lights here so he'll have some he'll have some lighting versus no lighting at all so all right I'll kick you guys back on once I get the headliner on I'm gonna wrap it uh, probably put all the trim on put everything on once it's all said and done um, I still got to mount The control We're gonna do it. It's probably sitting on top It's right here It's a little box. I still got to mount that somewhere. I got to figure out uh, Where to put it just to give it a clean look. I don't know if we can maybe tap into this console and do a cutout so that we can sync it through and have the controls here um, but we'll we'll leave that towards the end my deal is to try to put everything back in keep it back factory inside the vehicle and then deal with the with the controls at the very very end until I get the bodywork on top done and then I can prime it and then um, I am supposed to paint it but it's really windy so I might have to I might have to paint it another day, but I do want to leave it to where it's sealed and primed and ready for paint. So when I get the truck back, uh, good thing he lives right down the road, um, I can paint it and it'll be done with the whole install. So, all right, YouTube, I'll keep you guys back on when I get everything on. All right, YouTube, we're back. I'm gonna show you the end result, the final stage of the panoramic sunroof uh, custom installed with the bracket molded on bodywork and all that I still have some minor minor bodywork that I'm touching up uh, everything else has been wired up the headliner is done everything is functional the, the lights are, are working uh, just the last thing I left is uh, the minor bodywork and then I'm just gonna prime the top because I am gonna paint the roof but I'll probably end up doing that another weekend so I can just focus on the on the roof itself on getting that painted so it was a big project pretty much the biggest one I've done uh, panoramic size wise body work and all that and getting a custom install like I said these trucks don't come with a panoramic so you have to custom make it fit make it look original so let's check it out Check it out, YouTube. Everything is working. It's got the shade. It 
and as you can see you don't see any buttons anything to power it up there's nothing check it out so this is what powers it up this is the box I was telling you about it is bulky I was gonna craft it onto this but then he was gonna lose his lights here so he already lost his center light which you can still put you can still put some aftermarket lights on there he just you know the power and all that's still there so just depending on what the customer wants but let's check it out here's your vent there's your vent there now let's close it and then open it everything is a soft touch there we go check it out came out cherry looks good if it's if it's this truck just perfect Close it up. Let's check out that vent one more time. And it does have like a mesh on top, as you can see. Wait, that's the vent. Let me open it back up so I can show you them. The little mesh it has for like the wind reflector there we go you can kind of see it right there it does come with the mesh kind of a wind reflector so it doesn't make noise inside and all that so that's straight factory from the the uh, right I took it off of and uh, the panoramic came off of a 2015 Jeep Cherokee that's what I took it off of as you can see I'm still touching up the bodywork on top I'm masking it off so that way I can primer it but I wanted to show you this before it gets dark Then when that sun hits on a sunny day, you just close that, close that sunshade up. Check it out. Clean. That way you don't have no sun coming through whenever you don't need it. Let's open it back up. And it'll stop at the middle position just in case you want that one open if you don't want it then you just hit it again the customer just depending on what he wants well, there she is that's a wrap like I said I molded it on on there you don't see any buttons let's check out the top Like I said, I'm finalizing small touch-ups here and there. I should say I started sanding it down. Everything is flat. I'm masking it off now so that way I can cover this glass up and shoot some primer. Like I said, the roof is going to get painted, but as of right now, I'm just finalizing the the bodywork. Then when it's all said and done, I'll go clean the glass, any little touch-ups, details I gotta do to it to make it look 100. Well, that's gonna be it you too like I said this is out of all the centers I've ever done this has been the biggest project that I've gotten and pretty much knocked it out of the park so that's gonna be a wrap looks cherry let me get a 
back person view. Look at that. That looks badass. And um, obviously I'm gonna end up doing more. I just gotta find some more panoramics. I do ship them out. If you wanna buy just a panoramic for me, once I get them, I'm always posting them on my social media, on Facebook, Instagram. I'm always uh, putting them up for sale. If you want them installed, I could install them. Obviously the price is different. Just depending on what it what it's going on, and it's got to be a pretty big car, SUV, uh, crew cab like this, like this Silverado, or just a just a pretty big car, because these are huge panoramics, as you can see. So, all right, that's gonna be it. This is gonna be the final stage. Um, I'll try to get some pictures once I'm all set and done play, uh, painting the roof, and then if I do another install, I'll just give you an update on how that roof came out and I'll post some pics on top uh, so that way you guys can check out how that came out so all right YouTube like subscribe comment we'll get some more videos in I guarantee I'm gonna be doing some more panoramics I've got a lot of people hitting me up the thing is that they're they're a little hard to find the panoramics and if I do have them a lot of the times they sell quick not even a week goes by and, they, and I sell them or I ship them out. I do ship, I just need your zip code area where I'm shipping to, city and state. And I do ship them, I already shipped a couple of them to California uh, and Florida. So just depending on what you want. If you ain't close to me to get install them from you, I could ship them out to you. All right, you two, that's a wrap. Let me turn this truck off. Like I said, this is a 2500 Silverado HD. This is a big truck. The bed on that, shit, it's, it's got to be over 8 foot, if I'm not mistaken. But it's a big ass truck. It takes all my driveway compared to my other truck. Well, that's going to be it, you two. Alright, see you on the next one.